Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be how to read the date codes on your Bath & Body Works products. So we're going to talk about body care and candles today and I have a quite a few different types of items and I hope that this will be really helpful. I've gotten a lot of comments about this just over the time of me having a YouTube channel, how do you read the date codes on your Bath & Body Works products? Maybe you're ordering off of Mercari and you're getting like an old retired scent and you don't know how old it is. You don't know if you should use it up like right as soon as you get it. You don't remember which line it came out in. This is a great way to tell. Same thing with candles too. Candles don't go bad as quickly. It takes like five or more years for them to actually start breaking down but they do have a shelf life and they do go bad too. So it's good to know your date codes. And this is also really helpful if you're trying to start a project, use it up. The best thing you can do is start with your oldest products first and use those up. And that way you can kind of transition into constantly updating your collection with new products from the new lines that come out. So let's go ahead and get started with body care first. And the first thing I'm going to start with is what goes bad the quickest, and that is body creams. So I actually pulled out some empties for you guys. These are empty packages. This is a raspberry jam donut from 2020 and it went bad on me. Um, it's neon yellow and you know, usually it'll turn yellow if it has some vanilla in it. That is just really typical for any body care product. Um, in a body cream or a body lotion form, even a uh, body butter form, it'll turn a little yellow and that's fine. But when it gets neon yellow and starts changing scents on you, that's when you know it's gone bad. So body cream right here, this is an old one. And I'll show you in my like detailed camera on the back there, how to read the date code on this. So all these products that are in a tube like this, um, the date code will be on the seam of the tube right here and it'll be pressed into the plastic. So on mine, it is right up here and you can barely see it. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you a good uh, visual on that. But for me, mine starts with a zero. So the beginning number on there is zero and that means it was made in 2020. Now, if it's really, really old, it might mean that it's made in 2010. So just keep that in mind too. But mine was made in 2020. I know that because this line came out in 2020, this big shop line. If it was a two on the back of here and you don't recognize the packaging, it might actually be from 2012 and not 2022. So just keep that in mind. So that's this one. Let me also show you another tube-like product and that is the foaming sugar scrubs. Well, just the sugar scrubs. This is just one that I had on hand. This one I just picked up at SAS. So it's actually from 2021, last fall. And on the back here, the date code again is pressed into the seam on this, um, on the packaging and it's up at the top. Sometimes it's super difficult to see this. You might have to put it like right under direct light, look at it from an angle and you can tell. Sometimes it's indented in there and then sometimes it's raised. So you can feel it oftentimes at the very top. It's not gonna be this number. That's the barcode that they scan it to tell what price it is. That's not what it's gonna be. It's gonna be up here. So another tube-like product is the moisturizing body washes. Now this one is brand new, Sunshine Mimosa from 2022. So mine has a two on it and um, that's also pressed in the top. It's actually a little bit smaller than those other two. It's a little bit tinier. You might even have to take a picture of it with your camera if you don't have the best eyesight up close um, to be able to see what it is. So even the minis have date codes on them. The mini body cream right here, this is champagne, apple, and honey from last fall and it has a one at the beginning of the date code. But the first digit in this however many digit code is the year. So that's the little mini body cream. And then they even do it on the hand cream. So this is champagne, apple, and honey from this year. And if you flip it upside down on the seam, again, you can look and see mine has a two at the beginning, right up top. And you can even feel it. Do you hear it? It's right there at the top. So even on the hand creams, they print it on there. So let's keep going on the line of moisturizers. I have Winterberry Wonder in the body butter and this one i don't actually remember when it's from is from 2020 so this one is a little bit different so again we have this sticker at the top and then we have the price scanner and then we have another code and this one is a little bit like a robotic font i don't know how else to say it it is kind of like pixelated it's not quite like printed on there it's 
honestly it's ink you could even get it off with like some rubbing alcohol and stuff but mine has a zero and it's a little bit hard to see because they printed it on this like ledge right here but there's a zero right there and i'm kind of wiping it off but yeah there's a zero right there and i'm gonna smell this one because i actually i miss it but so mine is two years old i probably should finish it up this year um i'm scared of these things going bad but that's this one and then some body lotions i thought this would be a fun example because i have two uh white pumpkin and chives both from 2021 and 2020 so you can see the date codes on these so here's the 2021 and now here's the little barcode that they use to scan it and then here is my code so i think i actually have it upside down here you go here is my code so there's a zero right at the beginning of that so that is 2020 and then here is last year's version of white pumpkin and chai and i don't think they even had a sticker on the bottom of this one they must have just used this to scan it but here is the date code and there is a one right there at the very beginning so that's the date for this one is 2021. so similar to the um, body lotions the body washes are in the same type of packaging you know this little bottle squeeze bottle uh, type of packaging and this one has a similar date code and sticker at the bottom this is empty but it has a sticker at the bottom and then it also has this printed date code. I'm gonna show you from the back of my camera because it's a little more detailed, but my date code on this one starts with a zero. So this winter candy apple was from 2020. So that's a little example on there. And then hand soaps, which nobody really thinks about, but I thought it would be fun to add this one as well, just so you can see all the examples from different formulas. So here's the little scanner on the back of the soap. That's typically where it is. And then here's where they might would have a sticker but um, this is the date code right on here and it's printed very similar to how it was printed on the body butter at the bottom with like a little like ink basically on there. And I'll show you better on the back side. but this is a 2020 coconut cream pie hand soap and starts with a zero. So lastly, I'm gonna pull up some fine fragrance mist. So these are some of my older ones that I have. The oldest one I have is actually, I think from 2016 but the date code rubbed off of it and that can happen too. Um, but typically you can look it up on Mercari and sometimes people will have the dates of when those, when those items were from, especially if you look in the sold category, not in the for sale category. But anyways, so we have Almond Blossom right here. Now for the Fine Fragrance Mist, they usually always have this sticker at the bottom and that's the price scanner and that's just fine. But they will also have the printed date code at the top and i'm going to show you from the back of the camera they have the printed date code at the top similar to the uh, body butter where it's printed on an ink and this one starts with an eight so this uh, almond blossom is actually from 2018 one of the older things that i have in my collection now this is velvet sugar right here and this one's printed in a different color which i thought was interesting it's actually the same color as this bow on the packaging so i wanted to show you guys that one but again, we have this little sticker with the barcode scanner and then look in blue, they printed the date code. That's super interesting. I never would have thought that they done, they have done that before. I've never looked at the bottom of this one, but it is from 2019, so it has a nine on it. And again, if this was from 2009, it would also have a nine on it. So you just have to think about if you've seen the packaging or if it's like an old style bottle. Um, I believe the Fine Fragrance Mist at one point came in like a little, uh, I'll put up pictures of different examples, but came in like a little round type of bottle. And even the mini um, fine fragrance mists have changed in the last year. So you can kind of tell by the style of the packaging and um, the type of component that it's within. So, and a component is just like the physical packaging. So these two are technically in the same component since they're both in the same type of packaging. Anyways, now that's all the body care I have to share. Um, I don't actually own a full-size uh, perfume, so I'm not quite sure how to read the codes on that. I assume it's going to be similar to the Fine Fragrance Mist where it's going to be printed on the bottom. So you'll have to use your discretion on that one. But let me know if you have any questions on any other body care. But I do have a few candles. So I pulled a few candles that are a little bit older that I've already finished. So the first one is Tis the Season. Now, candles can be difficult because sometimes they're printed really, really small. So this Tis the Season, the entire packaging is printed so tiny it is so hard to read um, but we do have the code down here that they use to scan and then right up top and it's usually right around here or here they have the printed date code so this one 
has a zero at the beginning of it. So this was made in 2020. So that's Tis the Season. And then I also have a whipped coffee from, I think this is also from 2020. And this one's printed a little bit differently and a little bit bigger. Yeah, this one's from 2020. So you can see a little bit better. Here's the date code at the top. Here's the barcode that they scan it with. And this is our date code. So this one says zero, that's whipped coffee right there. And now I have a few from this year so that we can look at the date codes on those. So I have Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe from this past SAS. So here's the code that they would scan at the very bottom. Now this one, it has so much wording and verbiage on this packaging that's really hard to find where the date code is. So I'm gonna let you guys look for a little bit, see if you can find it. Okay, it is right up here, super hard to see. And they printed it a little more clearly this year. It's not quite in that same like robotic type of format, but there is a two at the beginning of it. So that's how you can tell it's from 2022. And then I do have one from Halloween of this year, Spooky Ciderland. I just picked this one up. So I wanted to show you guys some single wicks as well so you can kind of see how those look. But here's the bottom right here where they would typically scan it. And now the single wicks are gonna be at the very bottom. See how there's a lot of white space right here. There's also white space right here, but there's a lot of white space right here. That's where the date code is. And there's a two at the beginning. So this says two. So yeah, that's Spooky Cider Lane from 2022. Just so you could see that there. And that's a very, very new product, so. Okay, well that is everything for today's video. I hope that was informative for you guys. I hope that was helpful. Let me know down below if you have any other questions on any other types of products and I will try to answer to the best of my ability in the comment section. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.